For weeks, the streets of Seattle were consumed by chaos. Day after day of protesters facing projectiles and heavily armed police. The police said they were also attacked. The Seattle mayor ordered a temporary ban on tear gas. The police used it anyway. And then they seemed to give up, walking away from this police precinct. The city's police chief said it wasn't her decision. You fought for days to protect it. I ask you to stand on that line day in and day out, to be pelted with projectiles, to be screamed at, threatened, and in some cases hurt. Then to have a change of course nearly two weeks in, it seems like an insult to you and our community. After they left, the protesters claimed six city blocks as their own, calling it the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, or CHAZ. It's not nothing aggressive or violent or nothing like that. We, we didn't come out here for any of that. That's what those faces on the walls, black lives killed by the police. We want people to see that those lives matter. It reportedly has the feel of a festival. The protesters have planted gardens, given out free food, hosted long conversations about race relations. But the U.S. President Donald Trump sees this very differently, tweeting to the local leaders in part, take back your city now. If you don't do it, I will. This is not a game. These ugly anarchists must be stopped immediately. Move fast. The Democratic governor responded, writing, what we will not allow are threats of military violence against Washingtonians coming from the White House. The U.S. military serves to protect Americans, not the fragility of an insecure president. And the city's mayor also responded. Demanding we do better as a society and providing true equity for communities of color is not terrorism, it is patriotism. It's unclear if the police will move in to take back their building as the two sides remain locked in a standoff, a peaceful one for now. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera.